origin of the spirit. In addition to the research of the rituals, I have also tried to reveal the spirit's origin. What is his target? From where has it appeared? Who is he? He? It looks more like a she to me. Unfortunately, instead of answers, I only found more questions. If only I could know more about him, maybe that would give me a tip on how to resist him. Resist? Or are you talking about Yan? I could only find few facts about him. He despises humans, thinking that he is higher than us. He feels our weaknesses, how fragile we are, and he knows how easily we can be broken by our own emotions and feelings. Strongest and best of us have piqued his interest, as these people symbolize the greatest things inside us, which he seeks to corrupt the most. The rest of my findings consist of my own weak theories. I hypothesize... I hypothesize that the spirit was once human and corrupted by this cruel world became a creation obsessed with revenge. Or perhaps it was a good-like creature tricked by humans that craved power and imp imprisoned by them. Maybe our human nature of selfishness Maybe our human nature of selfishness and will and will for power <laughs> and control has caused him to despise us so greatly. I can make hundreds of theories like these, but what's the point? Such thoughts don't yield me any results, and my racing mind has made me begin to wonder what the point what point there is in so desperately figuring fighting for survival. When thinking clearly I remember that I care more about my legacy than my life. And for this, I will keep fighting. What? For your life or for your legacy? That no one, that will never be a legacy, because you freaking idiot forgot to put your name on your freaking notes. <laughs> I just... <laughs> wanted to take it out. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. I know my face can be very, very scary because I don't wear makeup and shit and, and I look like hell, but, you know, didn't have to get <gasps> spooked that hard. Okay, there's another one of these. I guess I have to look out for these now. In general. Uh, oh, fuck. That was supposed to. Right, so after the next um, auto saving spot or altar, I'm gonna take a break because first of all, it's getting late. Second of all, I need to cut the recordings and I need to check the recordings if the audio is fine. Because like I said, I've... Um, I've played around, uh, played around in the options a little bit, because um, before, like, my videos were always very, very quiet, too quiet, and I wanted to change that. Treehouse? Uh, what? Where, where did the bear? Oh, she took the bear. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I'm still a little. I don't know. Did I save just now? I wasn't paying attention. I was saved. Wonderful. So. Yeah, this is it for now, and I'm gonna be back with more of this, because I really like it. Alright, I'll see you next time. Bye! Hey guys, MindFuse here, and welcome back to the Cursed Forest. I don't 
remember coming here. Like, I don't know if this is right. This is right. Didn't we just get out of a house? Or something? Maybe this is wrong. Oh! Oh, hi! Um, huh? When did we get here? Did I play longer than I remembered? Because I don't remember this at all. So, I don't know. Did I really not remember this? Can this be? Thought I stopped after leaving the house. Did not? I? I don't know. Didn't I stop after leaving the house? I don't know. Anyway, family bonds. I remember the first time I met him. He had a strong will and admirable strength, but at the same time, he was an ex uh, especially romantic person. He used to pay attention to the natural beauty in the world. He was smart and well-read. I fell in love with him like a teenage girl. It was like I found my perfect type of man. But after our wedding, what seemed to be perfect, uh, what seemed to be a perfect life, became a nightmare. He changed, acted like I belonged to him, tried to control everything, and the things that he couldn't control angered him. He lived with a philosophy that his personal rules are the only right ones and everybody should obey onto them. The most terrible thing that I notice is the strong independence and will that I had in a young age was completely dismissed. Okay, demise, not dismissed, <laughs> sorry. But something still kept me with him, despite that I'd feel better when he was not around. But after the complete dark after the complete dark, a light is reappearing. This light was our daughter, Sarah. She's a great child. I'm so proud that even under the, my husband's severity, she still keeps strong and represents all the good sides that you can find in people. She's very honest and kind. She always seems to perceive this world as art. I'm so very proud of her. My love for Sarah gives me Monetary chances not to notice how my husband is changing to the bad side. You're just noticing that? Really? Unfortunately, my health doesn't permit me to be with Sarah for, for a very long time. For very long at a time. God damn it. Uh, as you can see, my English uh, still lacks a little. Haven't spoken a lot. Okay. Um, as I would have wanted. All the time that's left, I will use to help Sarah prepare for life when I am not around any, any longer. I hope my husband will take good care of her and make her happy. Nope, he didn't. He didn't. Sorry to tell you this. He killed her. He sacrificed her. He's a douchebag. All right. <gasps> important okay it wasn't i guess or maybe it is and i can go around the hole no it's nothing it's just a mean trap set by a girl i guess all right so oh no 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 great oh he's not he's not crying anymore when he walks into the fire. That's great. I like it. Obsession and success. During my first days here, I met what remained of the new guests who visited this place before me. But their corpses didn't stay long. I don't know how they are disappearing. Maybe darkness swallows them? Or that sinister girl took them somewhere. The fact is, if you die in this place, you disappear from this world. During my research, I found that for the reverse ritual, you need to collect all parts of the sacrificed body. Searching for them was some kind of game. 
At first, I felt like a madman searching for the remains of a dead body, but now, when I look at the when I look at them inside my bag, I feel like I am a collector, finally completing his collection. The more remains I find, the more I learn about this place. It's like they guide me through the pages of their story. I think it's not a coincidence that their remain, uh, remnants were pl in places that played a significant role in the victim's life. After that, I found a rune stone. Finding it was, a really, was really a headache. Also, I found out that the fire in the altars inflicts the dark girl and makes her more aggressive. My intuition inclined me to extinguish these lights to make myself more secure. Hopefully, nothing will disturb me during my preparations for the reverse ritual. So, hang on, the fire in the altars makes her more aggressive? So I shouldn't save, but that's deadly, so no, fuck that. Lately I have managed to avoid the dark girl. It's become a game where I am winning. <laughs> Few pieces are left, soon enough I will stop the curse of this forsaken forest. And maybe even get the opportunity to discover the sacred knowledge and power the forest's ancient civilization was keeping here. Even the thought of this makes me excited. Gives me the feeling of invincibility. <laughs> I'm sure I'll survive. I have become a part of this place and adjusted to it. Well, good for you. I'm still glad when I'm gone, when I'm getting out of this dump. Well, actually not. Actually, it's a nice forest. If it weren't for the girl and how, I would really enjoy it here. I would. Honestly. Uh, watch out for traps, because that's a thing now, I guess. <gasps> Jesus! Would you stop that? That is not very nice. Another trap. Okay, so the traps are another lake. Is it the same lake as before? No, there's no rock in the middle. Um. Okay, I'm going back. Sorry, didn't mean to disturb you. Can I go here, there though? Cause like, looks like I can go over there. You die. Let's go up there first. Is it? Is that her shadow again? What do you want, go? Right, traps. Uh, I don't see any traps. Moment. There's one. I don't get why some of them glow and some of them don't. Weird. Oh, so I am supposed to swim? Maybe? I don't know. Well, okay, there's two of them. <laughs> What the frick was that? Oh, it's another trap, you evil girl. Seriously, she's trying to kill me. I didn't do anything, I'm just trying to help her. I'm a nice person, hey? Screw you, stupid girl. Oh, another tent. How lovely. Hey. Oh, man on fire, put all, out all campfires in the fourth section. Okay. Okay, this is the fourth section, apparently. I didn't know that. New world is near. Last few weeks have been very rough. We started preparing for the day, the day that will change everything. Because of Yan and a few settlers that doubt my plan, ritual preparations are becoming harder. I have sent a few loyal followers to watch them and keep them on distance. Unfortunately, because of my preparations, I can't spend as much time with Sarah as I would have liked. I understand that there's no need to be sad, and I hope she does too. Sarah will not leave me. Because of, this mission, of the mission that Sarah's destiny has prepared for her, 
Sure, it was Sarah's destiny that prepared it for her, not you. Douchebag. Uh, when the ritual is complete, we will spend even less time together. But she will be happier. Mm-hmm. I can see that. Not really. Actually, the opposite, but okay. I'm going to fix all my mistakes and will let my daughter flee freely from the nest. I will stop controlling her and let her make this world a better place. Yeah, your plan didn't work out, dude. Just, you know, just saying. 